Welcome back to the channel guys. So a couple persons have asked me, how do I edit my video when I record it using D-Log-M, 10 bits? Here we go. All right, so this is my video right here. And as you can see, it's very flat. All right, so we're gonna go to our color section and we need to bring this video back to how you saw it when you recorded it, okay? So now the first thing that we need to establish is we need to get our LUT from the DaVinci website into our video editing software. I'm gonna to go to my browser, type in DJI, Osmo Pocket 3 LUT, and it's gonna be the first one that comes up right here. You're gonna click on that. Whatever software that you guys are using, I'm using a Mac, you can download what is associated with your computer. I'm gonna, once you click on this, it's gonna download. Once it's downloaded, you're gonna go back to your software now, now that we're inside the color section right here, this is where we're gonna be doing our edits. Once we're here, when you come to this section, you're usually gonna see it just like this. You're gonna to try to get your, your LUT inside this DJI folder. If you right click on the folder, you're gonna say reveal in finder. So now that you have your folder right here, locate your folder that you downloaded your LUT file to this is the file that I downloaded just now. You're gonna double click on it. Once you have done that, you're gonna drag it over to the folder inside the DJI software. You're gonna release it. Now it's asking me to replace. I'm gonna go ahead and replace. Once I've done that, you're gonna move this to the side just to get it out of the way. We can close this. Now to get the, the LUT active inside the software, you're gonna right click, and we're gonna say refresh. Once we have done that, if you double click on the folder, you will see that the file is right here that we just downloaded, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we need to come to our lower section right here, and this is where we're gonna do all our editing for our shadows, midtones, highlights. I know that it says lift, gamma and gain but consider these as your shadows midtone and highlights and this is your global overall when you want to bring up the brightness on the entire video okay so we want to do more of a localized um editing of this video where you can lift the shadows lift your midtone lift your highlights hope you guys understand that okay so what we're gonna do first, we're gonna to come to the right section over here. You're gonna see this little rectangle over here. This is called a node, okay guys? This is where we're gonna have everything done to your video. I need to create three more nodes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press my option S a couple of times. To get the fourth one, you can also right click and say add a serial node. So now that we have created our nodes, I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say node label. I'm gonna call this LUT. I'm gonna come back to number one. I'm gonna label it as well as edit. I'm gonna label this one as HDR. I'm gonna come here and label this one as detail because I'm gonna sharpen the video just a, a little bit, okay? Okay guys, so now that we have labeled our, our nodes over here, I'm gonna bring this one down here because what happens is we need to put our LUT on this node right here. So we're gonna come over here. If you're not seeing your screen looking like this, maybe you have it like this, all right? And this is a LUT that we just downloaded into the DaVinci software. I'm gonna come back here. Now, all we need to do to get this lot onto this node, two ways we can do it. We can double click on here, but we can also right click and go to LUT, DJI, and the one we just downloaded. All right, now we have our LUT on our node. It's now active. If we, if we go back here, you can see that if you go before, after, before, after, you're gonna see that our LUT is now active on our node and you can actually see the little icon right here for our LUT. Okay, so now that we have done that guys, let's go to our edit section. Now, once we're here on the edit node, I'm gonna drag my mouse over these two just to get it out the way for a little bit, okay? Let's go back to our edit now. 
So now what's going to happen is once we're here inside a color wheel section, I'm going to come here. We have our lift, gamma, gain, and offset. Consider your lift as your shadow, your gamma as your mid-tone, your gain as your highlights, and your offset as your overall. All right, overall meaning it's going to be a global adjustment to your video. Okay, guys, so let's come back to our lift section. And all I want to do right now, as you can see, there's a right here is pretty dark. What I want to do is start seeing the rocks that I saw when I was capturing this video. And I'm just going to drag it slowly, guys. So once I start dragging it in, you can see that the rocks are coming into view right now. Okay, and that's looking pretty good. Now what I want to do is I want to just lift my gamma just a bit inside the mid-tones. Okay, guys? I'm just going to drag it just a bit right there. I think it looks pretty good. The video is coming nicely together. Okay, we can start seeing a little bit more details in our shadows and mid-tones. So what we want to do now to this video is looking a little bit flat still. The colors are there, but they're not as vibrant as how I saw them that morning. So what I need to do now, I'm gonna to come to my HDR, and I'm gonna come down here to this, no, this, this wheel right here, which is the HDR color wheel, okay guys? So now that we are here on the, on the HDR node, we're now going to just do a global effect of the saturation on this video. If you come here to the global section to the lower right, you're gonna see SAT, that stands for saturation. And all we're gonna do is put our mouse right here, and you're gonna see that double arrow. And all you do now, guys, you're just gonna drag, click, and hold, and move your mouse to the right. And I think I'm gonna to go to about 1.40, and I think that looks pretty good. It's pretty much how I saw it that morning. Okay, guys? So what I want to also do, guys, is I want to just add a little bit of warmth inside the rocks right here. Not too much, because remember, guys, when you're doing any kind of edits, you want to do it as minimal as possible. Okay, guys, you don't want to look too fake or overly done. All right, so what I'm going to do now, and we're going to come to our log section right here. This is where we need to be. All right, guys, so now what I want to do is I want to affect a little bit of warmth inside the mid-tones right here. So all I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm just gonna go here. You see this little dot in the middle of the color wheel? I'm just gonna click it and hold it and just drag it up a little bit into the middle. And you can see that a little bit of warmth is added inside the rocks right there, guys. And I think that is looking pretty good. So let's go back to our main color wheels right here, okay, guys? So now that we are here, what we need to do is I want to add a little bit more details in the video. So that I can see the details, guys, I need to zoom in a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is use the scroll wheel on our mouse, and I'm just gonna slide it forward so I can start seeing a little bit more of the video in a larger scope. Okay, guys? So now we're gonna go to our detail node right here, and now that we're here, I'm gonna come here inside our color wheel section to the far right, you're gonna see this thing called MID slash detail. This is where we're gonna be. So all I'm gonna do now, as now as you see the mouse over the wording right here, you're gonna see a double arrow. You just click and hold, and you're just gonna drag. I'm gonna exaggerate a little bit, guys, so you can start seeing how much detail we can add inside our video. Okay, guys, I'm gonna double click on that just to reset it, and I'm just gonna slowly do it until I feel comfortable. And I think that for me right there looks, I think 77 is good. I'm going to go back out and look at the overall video. Let's go back to our edit section and see what it looks like. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to press, I'm going to make sure to drag this all the way to the end. I'm going to press my space bar just to see how it looks. And guys, I think that's looking pretty good. I could definitely do a lot more, guys, but does this look exactly how I saw it that morning? The one thing I probably would do is just add a little bit more saturation to my HDR section. So I'm gonna come back here to the HDR, which is high dynamic range, 
and I'm going to lift a little bit more of the because I want to lift the blues a little bit more so this is more inside the mid-tone section I'm going to go right here which is our mid-tone it's called shadows here but I'm going to lift the mid-tones I'm just all I'm going to do is just go here and drag this up a little bit more just like that and I think that's looking pretty good guys so now let's check and see what our before and after looks like I'm gonna click on this right here before after before after and guys I think we have done a pretty good job right here if you guys have any questions guys in the comment section leave them down there for me and I'll try to do my best to respond as quickly as I possibly can guys if you have enjoyed this video smash that like button guys and subscribe to the channel if you're new guys take care peace Thank you.